I always find it interesting that although as curious humans we have accumulated vast amounts of knowledge about our surroundings, there's still so much to discover. In particular, the mind and brain seem to be a hard nut to crack, so to speak. But let me tell you something fascinating that scientists have recently discovered, something that's got this old guy pretty excited. Imagine you have a fancy house that has a built-in cleaning system that only works while you're asleep. Well, it turns out our brains have exactly that. It's called the glymphatic system. Kind of a funny name, but what it does is no laughing matter. You see, every night when we're sleeping, and I mean really sleeping, that deep sleep that we all need, our brain cells actually shrink a little bit. This creates tiny channels that allow fluid to flush through our brains, cleaning out all the day's cellular garbage. Like having a microscopic Roomba running around in your head. At my age, and maybe yours too, we need to be thinking about keeping our brains healthy. I try to keep learning new things, as I've mentioned in past videos, but scientists are looking at ways to enhance this cleaning system, and some of what they're finding is pretty remarkable. They're already working on new medications that might help the system work better. In fact, they've found some promising results in laboratory studies. But here's the kicker, and I love this part because it's something we can all do right now. One of the best ways to help the system work properly is to simply get good quality sleep. That's right, just sleeping might help keep our brains cleaner and healthier. Now, I'm obviously not a doctor, and this is certainly not medical advice, but you know, getting a good night's sleep just makes all kinds of sense, right? Even more so with this discovery. Now, I should mention we're still in the early stages of understanding all this. Some of the medical field remind us that we need more research to know exactly how important this system is in treating brain diseases. In the modern world, it can also be hard to relax properly at night in order to get a good night's sleep and give this process a chance to work effectively. Here's some tips to get restful sleep. Establish a consistent sleep schedule. Usually a fixed wake-up time is good. Even on the weekends, it kind of regulates your body's internal clock and create like a target bedtime that allows for at least seven hours of sleep based on your expected wake-up time. Create a relaxing bedtime routine. Sort of, you know, wind down, spend half an hour before bed engaging in calming activities like reading, light stretching maybe, or listening to soft music. Have some sleep rituals, you know, develop habits that signal your body it's time for sleep like taking a warm bath or something like that. Optimize your sleep environment. So obviously you want, you know, comfortable bedding, but things like room temperature can make a difference. Cool room temperature. Seems like that helps if your room is cooler rather than warmer. It's around 65 to 68 Fahrenheit or 18 to 20 Celsius for optimal comfort, researchers indicated. Minimize light and noise, obviously. Use, you know, blackout curtains if you need to or a white noise machine, something like that. Limit stimulants and distractions. Avoid, you know, caffeine and nicotine close to bedtime. Limit alcohol. Well, it might help me to fall asleep initially, and I can t attest to this, being a, someone from Scotland who used to drink pretty heavily, pretty regularly. Alcohol can disrupt your sleep cycle later in the night. So avoid, it would avoid you getting that quality sleep that you need. Avoid screens for at least an hour before bed to reduce blue light exposure, which can interfere with melatonin production. Manage diet and exercise. I mean, a light evening snack is better than a big heavy meal close to bedtime. Don't do vigorous workouts within you know, a few hours of bedtime, although regular exercise is good during the day. If you can, get some natural light exposure during the day to help regulate your circadian rhythm. And try and stay calm and stress-free if you can. I know that's a tall order these days, but... Practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing or mindfulness to try and reduce anxiety before going to bed, and that will get you a good restorative night's sleep. Before I wrap up, let me just leave you with this thought. Your brain is working hard all day helping you think, remember, hopefully, and function. The least we can do is give it the good night's sleep it needs to help clean itself up. So that's another one in the can. If you find this video interesting or informative, please consider liking and subscribing. And remember... Be excellent to each other.